I'll be presenting today's Radiopedia.org case in radiology, parapharyngeal abscess. Case courtesy is demonstrated here, and the case link is in the description below. Presentation. We have a 16-year-old male presenting with throat, jaw, neck, and ear pain on the right for five days. The patient is noted to have a hoarse voice. On CT, we see a rim-enhancing fluid collection within the right parapharyngeal space with medial displacement and narrowing of the adjacent nasopharynx. The patient underwent repeat CT two weeks later. We see that the right parapharyngeal abscess has expanded. There's also leftward deviation of the naso and oropharynx. We also see that there are new collections. One is noted in the right retroparotid space adjacent to the anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid. After the first imaging, the patient underwent needle aspiration in the ED, which failed due to the thickness of the fluid. He then went for a transoral IND with IV antibiotics and was discharged afterwards. Fluid culture grew only normal commensal flora. Two weeks later, the patient presented and exhibited the second set of imaging findings. The reaccumulation and expanding of the purulent focus necessitated a transcervical surgical debridement with extensive washout and placement of a Yates drain. The fluid in this instance grew staph aureus. The patient was reviewed in a pediatric radiology MBT meeting and it was thought the recrudescence of the disease might be secondary to a cystic remnant of a bran branchial cleft.